hi guys uh, the goal of the video is to make you understand what are the prerequisites to learn Hadoop uh, the first one is SQL second one is Unix commands the third one is Java concepts basically people refer these three as prerequisites to learn Hadoop so let's look at it what exactly these three talks about SQL SQL is something called uh, something to do with data since the Hadoop is all about data storage and data processing, yes, you do. We do need the skills of SQL. SQL is structured query language, and and even if you don't know, if you guys don't know about SQL, it just takes two days, two days to learn SQL commands. So don't worry about it. You can still learn them. All right, great. Then we'll, let's move on to the next one. That's called Unix commands. HDFS is all about data storage in Hadoop. So to store this data, we data in the in the form of files, or to delete the files, to create a file, or to move around the file and stuff like that. To deal with to deal with the data, we need some Unix commands to actually you know use those uh, commands and do these tasks. So you do need the skills of this. But even if you guys don't know about Unix commands, it just takes one day to learn these like most used queries or most used commands. So don't worry about it. You can still learn these Unix commands in one day or two. All right. The third one is very important. That's Java concepts. So yes, as you guys already know, uh, Hadoop is all about data storage and processing. So processing is the key thing here. So MapReduce is one of the one of the tools widely used across Hadoop ecosystem for the data processing. So most of the people use Java to uh, program in uh, MapReduce, but MapReduce also supports few other languages as well. So, but most people use Java since open source and stuff. All right. And do we need to like do you already have to be a Java developer to become a Hadoop developer? Of course not. You guys need understanding and implementation of these Java concepts. Even if you guys are not, is if you guys are not from Java background, don't worry about it. All it required to become a Hadoop developer is a continuous hard work and dedication towards this Hadoop development course. All right, and and yes, of course, if you guys don't know about Java stuff, it takes a week and a half to two weeks to learn, understand, and practice the Java concepts, so you guys can pick up a MapReduce like in, in no time. That's the basic basic goal of why you guys have to learn all these uh, prerequisites, all right? But but I'm saying from a personal experience, you guys don't have to be from the SQL background or Unix Unix background or Java concept background, all right? I've seen people who actually moved to Hadoop from different from chemical engineering, some PhD in some mechanical engineering, or uh, even for some people people from a business background like business analyst on these profiles, right? It's absolutely possible to become a Hadoop developer or a big data developer even without having uh, we are without having these prerequisite courses in our in a profile already. You can still learn them as long as you have continuous passion, dedication and interest towards this. And if you're able to spend a decent amount of time on a weekly basis, you can become a developer or big data developer for sure. And yes, you can. And you can do get paid like high paid salaries as the market. Currently, these Hadoop developers are hot across India, US, Canada, and everywhere, right? So great, guys. So as my basic goal is to make you understand what are the prerequisites is really you have to have those on already or you can still learn them. That's the basic goal, and I hope this video really helps you out. And I wish you all the best to start learning Hadoop. Great. Thanks, guys. See you later.